Well, this morning, state leaders are touting a major economic partnership with Purdue University and a major chip maker from South Korea. So this investment means 1,000 jobs coming to Central Indiana. Let's get to Gina Glaros, who is joining us with more on this announcement and the long-term impact that this will have. Good morning, Gina. Good morning to you, ladies. Yes, this is a $4 billion investment from that South Korean company that makes microchips, and they want to partner with Purdue University. Governor Holcomb and Senator Todd Young were on hand for that announcement at Purdue yesterday. The company SK Hynix will build its plant at Purdue University's research park. So they want to make the packaging that goes around these microchips. And in West Lafayette, Purdue is home to one of the top semiconductor and microelectronics engineering programs. So students will be able to intern with the company while also providing a talent pipeline. This announcement is significant, though, to more than just students at the university. This is from the north to the southern border in the state of Indiana. What is really separating us from the rest of the competition uh, and why we have a little swagger is because of that talent that is absolutely necessary if you're going to win in a knowledge based economy. Semiconductor chips are in just about everything we use, phones, computers, cars. In recent years, the U.S. has been making fewer, so that, of course, increases its dependency on other countries for these microchips. Now, this company is expected to set up shop by 2030. This isn't the first company making this big of an announcement in West Lafayette. You might remember back in 2022, Skywater Technology partnered with the with Purdue mm -hmm. and the state to build these new semiconductor production facilities. Now they haven't built this facility just yet, right. but they tell us that they are still very much committed. So doing big things up in West <laughs> Lafayette. Exactly. A lot of big things happening soon. Thank you, Gina.